Next, we will do the transthoracic shoulder. This is for the patient that is not able to do the arm rotation for the AP shoulder. So, in that instance, you'll have the patient put the affected arm against the IR. We only need a 10 by 12 image receptor in lengthwise. And we're going to line up the body so that the surgical neck of the humerus is going to be approximately at the center point of our IR. So I have that portion of the arm right up against the board. So this is our affected arm, the right arm. And we'll have the good arm raised over the head and we'll be shooting this projection through the patient's chest. So just get your patient lined up so that your central ray is going to be hitting mid-coronal. Make sure the patient's good and straight and lateral for this. Okay, now for this projection, the patient can either take deep inspiration for the exposure or they can do a breathing method throughout the exposure. So this is our transthoracic Lawrence method. Next, I'd like to show you the Grashy method, which shows the glenoid cavity. So we're going to image the right shoulder. You have the patient at an oblique angle of about 35 to 45 degrees. Our central ray is going to enter. You're, you're going to start at this farthest portion of the shoulder and go in two inches and then come down two inches. So I can actually go up just slightly higher. Since I have moved my tube, I'm going to adjust the bucky tray accordingly. Okay, and make sure your right marker is showing, and I'm going to bring the arm out from the side. And this is our grassy method for seeing the glenoid cavity. Alright, our last special projection is the near method. And I'm going to do the left shoulder for this, and I'm going to have David turn, and we will have him in a PA oblique. And you can do a body oblique of 45 to 60 degrees. You're going to have a tube angle of 15 degrees caudal. And this is really a tangential projection. And what's, it's going to be skimming over the top of his shoulder. I can go actually a little bit higher. And this is showing the supraspinatus outlet. Okay, and then we'll place our left marker. Since this is our left shoulder that is against the IR, and we can collimate just a little bit. But this is going to skim over the shoulder, just catch that top edge, and it will show the supraspinatus outlet. And this is the near method.